Yo, welcome back to the PRG in less than three minutes, guys. In less than two minutes, probably I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Solstice of Heroes, keys, and everything you need to know about treasure. Now, guys, don't waste your time. Get you a real ghost when you're doing the European Aerial Zone because you want to need one then. Go to the first page, grab your EDZ shell, or go to page five and grab you a Rust Punk shell, Treasure Hunter. This will save time and time is money while you're doing the european aerial zone guys not to mention when you get done here guys you don't want to be looking for all these right when you get done here guess what you want to farm some more solstice keys right so you can open more packages etc etc what you want to do guys you want to farm your dailies your weeklies guys these drop 17 a piece okay you want to hit all your dailies and all your weekly milestones first. After that, guys, you know, you're gonna head to either or both, either the EDZ or Nessus or both like I do and bounce around and you're gonna hit public events. Public events is gonna grant you five solstice keys for every completion. While you're doing easy EDZ bouncing around public events and collecting those five keys. You can also be doing patrols. I like getting up here on the Nessus one because I don't even have to jump down. I can just finish it from here. I can load up the map. I can jump to another one. I'm going to jump to Exodus Black. Then if I don't see something there, I'll jump back to EDZ because time is money, boys. This is all you need to do, guys. Get you the right kind of shells. Spend your time wisely. Don't waste a bunch of time farm the crap out of these keys and you're done you'll have the legendary set in no time and after that guys it's just kicking back grinding it out from there so if this video helps you in any kind of way smack the like button and if you're new subscribe otherwise good luck peace